Okay, this is a thrift store Curtis television. Um, this TV is one of the things that I picked up at Value Village recently. Um, I say one of the things, but that's one I really wanted to talk about in a particular video. Because, um, it was one of the best finds, but not the best. Because there are certainly other finds. Okay, so now I'm back, and we're hooked up to cable. So, basically, analog uh, TV uh, cable has been stopped in my area, of course, as well as over the air, or else this TV would work perfectly for something as such as camping, what I do a lot of. And the great thing about this... What the heck? Okay, well, the great thing about this TV is that it has an external antenna, um input here, which I need to unplug, or else this won't work. Um, I could hook this up to like the trailer antenna that I have, the big trailer antenna, but of course that wouldn't all work because of, um, uh, there's no, what do you call it? Let's just jump on and turn this TV on here. So I need to find the station. There it is. Color bars. Not really. <laughs> That's interesting on a black and white TV, actually. Um, how truly, um, to us, we might name the color bars as, you know, different lightest to darkest differently. But truly, on a black and white TV, you can see how it's actually arranged compared to what, um, Somebody would say it actually is. There's another station I'm sure that we can find. What's that? Oh, hey, a spider. Struggling to get across the curve. There's no more color bar thingy. Let me just... Okay. I'm good. <laughs> um, let's see. Yeah, that's, that's all. Empty stuff. Let's see this. Remnants of color bar, that looks like. Yeah. There looks to be an image there that I can make out. Let's go to VL now. Oh, there's color bars. I mean, black and white bars, whatever. Um, that's basically it for this. Now, unfortunately, I do have to note that you probably can't see those color bars as clear as you should be able to. Because my modem is actually hooked up to the cable. First of all, that causes a great amount of interference. And actually, the whole internet for these little cable boxes here is actually sent out over the coaxial cable. Though I'm sure it's heavily decoded, it still might cause some interference on this little TV. Now if I were to turn on the radio, which is on AM right there, but even if... I actually get more stations with the coaxial cable hooked up. Which is rather interesting. Anyway, thanks for watching. This concludes this video. And stay tuned for more uh, Value Village videos coming up.